And they just start dismissing your my sanity is questionable. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Sean, and I am Bizak with another Road to Glory video. I was about to say my career for some reason, but uh, yeah, I'm so used to 2K. But anyway, if y'all missed my last episode of Road to Glory, episode 6, the annotation should be somewhere on the screen right now. And if y'all like that song y'all just heard in the intro by my blood brother, make sure y'all check the description on and download that song and his new mixtape. And on the first play of the game, we're stepping back, running the play action pass, throwing it to Clark, and it gets picked off. I I cannot believe I just threw a interception on the first play of the game. I should have lobbed that pass to be honest with y'all. I'm so addicted to throwing bullet passes as you can see right there as my man B. Wells picks up 14 yards on that catch giving us the first down. And we're going to go ahead and give it out to my running back Jerome Smith as he's being pushed all over the middle of the field. And he picks up 8 yards in that run. That was a good run. And look at this. My coach still calling them vertical plays but this time it actually works as Mr. West gets that 24 yard reception. And the cornerback brings him down by wrapping up his feet so he can't go nowhere. I'm stepping back. Throwing it through a closing window right to Jeremiah Kobina as he picks up 12 yards and give us the first down now I'm gonna go ahead and explain this because I got a feeling somebody is gonna keep bugging me in the comments about what the hell is a closing window What does that even mean now when I say closing window? I'm talking about the space between whatever receiver I'm throwing it to and his defender the space between those two people on the field are closing which means the defender is getting closer and closer to the receiver I'm throwing it to second by second because when you close a window in real life the space gets smaller and smaller until it's closed so if you don't know if you don't get it by now after I just explained it I don't know what to tell you because that was like perfectly said but anyway back to the gameplay is first and ten stepping back throwing it over to Fleming on the right side of the field and he picks up eight yards in that catch but I just noticed something my team got the funniest last names in the game I think what the hell is a Funderburk a Cobina Wales Fleming's like what type of last names are these I never heard of a Quinta Funderburk that is just ridiculous, but it's second and three. Step it back. I say bump it. I'm scrambling, getting bumped by a teammate, diving into the end zone like a boss. Getting my first rushing touchdown of my college career. I think that's my first one. I'm not sure if I got one before. I don't remember it, but hey, whatever. I got the TD, and look at Coach calling for a vertical play, and I see why he's doing it this time. We need to score to get the lead before the halftime comes, and I almost got sacked right there, but the ball was out of my hands while I got hit, so that's not a sack. Coach called for another vertical play. I'm stepping back, looking for Wells. I throw it to Wells. He catches it, and that's a 19-yard reception, giving us another first down, and here we go with another vertical play, hiking the ball, looking for Wells right up the middle of the field. He catches it, and he's brought down by two defenders, and that's a 22 yard reception giving us another first down and they're bringing the pressure ASAP and I'm running to the right side of the field throwing it out of bounds and that's gonna save me from getting sacked and losing all them yards so I give it off to Jerome Smith on the very next play and he only picks up two yards and uh oh screenplay throwing it to Jerome Smith and boom bitch boom bitch boom bitch <laughs> he got put on his ass ASAP and how was that not a touchdown they just played my boy Jerome Smith but it's all good because we're going to step back throw it to B Wells and he's going to pick up the six points that Jerome Smith should have got they played my boy but it's all good first and ten stepping back throwing it through the closing window once again to Kobina and he picks up the first down with that 14 yard catch and coach want to run a speed option play so we're running it and I could have did a juke move stiff arm spin move truck something besides that little 
dry ass inside step that only got me seven yards and it's now second to goal and I'm getting sacked for a loss of nine yards and I hate it when I get sacked so you know we got to make up for it on this play throwing it into Clark right in the end zone and that's another passing touchdown to my boy Clark this time and just look at the ball yo just look at the ball really EA really and look at the clock the clock is still going down are you serious right now wow wow you know what i'm just go ahead and cut it right there because that that was just ridiculous but it's first and ten one minute left to go in the third quarter i'm throwing it just in time to mr west jared west picking up the first down with that 14 yard catch right there and it's now first down once again 55 seconds left play action pass stepping back to throw throwing it to Kobina and look at the open field that Kobina has in front of him and he's taking that all the way to the house for seven points and that's a new NCAA record I just broke in the longest pass record in NCAA that was back in 2000 it was 75 yards and I broke that with 78 yards thanks to my wide receiver Kobina that man is putting in work this game but we still got unfinished business here we still need to win this game first play of the fourth quarter I'm thinking about scrambling running to the right but I dish it off to Kobina right in front of the defender facing Kobina grabs it and takes it into the end zone for another seven points Kobina is putting in that work this game one minute left in the fourth quarter they did wind up scoring one more touchdown and we just decided to run the clock out and that is pretty much game people we won this game 38 to 22 it's not about how you start the game people it's about how you finish it I hope y'all enjoyed this video this is the last play of the game and I'll see y'all on my next one peace the whole cold cut, but I'm so sick When I spit, it's like throw up And fuck being famous So even if I blow up, I promise you I'm a go nuts At every show you show up Some late nights when I cry about this music You never know just how much heart and soul I put into it And that's another promise that I keep Even if I live on Park Ave I'm a product of the streets The journey of my life is the product of the beats That I feasted on when there was nothing to eat Still I was running niggas out of sight for you Get check my cleats, had the whole cafeteria standing on their seats. So if they sleeping on me, then it's time to change the sheets. All that's left is the ball in me and my team. We got that heat. I right. When I say we got that heat, I ain't calling myself no shooter. But right hand on the Bible, I'll try and ride with that Ruger. You best be watching your back. These birds singing more than Lufa. Your best bro wanna rub you out. You better look out for the Lufa. A disc on you, nigga. Couldn't get an ice cube out of my cooler. And you probably got some stupider than make Gruber and your crew, bruh. Gotta cut them off. Shit. I had to too, bruh, and peace out, it's played out So I tell them niggas to up, but back to the bowling Y'all niggas gonna call me Jordan, I should be those my spawning Go roll is what I be spawning, go roll is what I scream At beginning of my tracks, cause that's what I'm a cop When I got a plaque to match, huh? next thing after that huh? Old school black on black, I'm about to say it with my chest Till I get a heart attack, exposing the retards in these parts So homie, it's a rap, I got love for this hip hop Stevie And from a bitch I will scrap, huh? if you didn't get it, that's why you would never get it You got as bad as much talent as one of these fucking critics So if you want to battle, your career's leaving the stitches Cause every time I spit shit, my opponent's getting crickets like Every time I spit shit, my opponent's getting crickets Cause every time I spit shit, my opponent's getting Get a king for a set back, got his hate crack punchline with last on his next snap Cause I fucking hate rats, get you in my trap and I'm taking cheese, wanna bet that I'm the undisputed spitter, I ain't never lose a battle, wanna test that Lots coming for your head, and your vest never gonna protect that No matter what you do, I'll always be better than you You could sign a desert storm and still you wouldn't have a clue And I ain't no sniper, but you're in my line of fire But you should be in the choir